hey guys welcome back to my channel and just before we start this video I'm gonna sound really weird I possibly have a lisp oh no I have a lisp um, I'm recovering from my wisdom teeth removal but this is this is not cute but um wanted to make a video today uh, this happened a couple weeks ago just so you know when I had went to Arizona but it's still bugging me and so I'm just gonna rant about it so, if you guys want to keep watching to find out what Southwest Airlines did to me and why it irritated me so much, then just keep watching. Okay, so I left Arizona on September 15th, okay? Okay. Got there, fine. Went through the airport, fine. Do you see some... Oh, you can't really see him. He just rolled over. He's, he's just over me. He's over me. I agree. But, so I got there. Everything was fine. Please do not snore in my video, sir. But... So I got there fine, everything was good. I checked in, everything was fine. It was coming home what was the issue for me. So my flight, okay, so I was coming home on the 18th, okay? Monday, the 18th. So whatever, my weekend, my vacation. And so, let me show you guys something. So this is my email from Southwest. My flight time to come home was at do you see this right here? Let's let's see. Will you focus? Let's see. Let's see. Will it focus? Well, basically, right there, that says 9.05 p.m. Okay? 9.05 p.m. was the time that my flight was supposed to come home. Why am I like this? Okay, there we go. 9.05 p.m. was the time that I was supposed to board my flight so I could come home to my home of San Jose. No longer in Phoenix, but now I will be in San Jose. Okay, easy. I completely forgot to check us in at freaking 9.05 fucking five that same night. Okay, okay. So I was supposed to check in at 9.05 p.m. and I completely forgot. So it is, so I'm at my sister's house, obviously, and I'm asleep. And at like four in the morning, I woke up because I had to use the bathroom. So I, I used the bathroom, whatever. And I was like, holy shit, I did not check us into our flight. I sound so funny right now and I'm so sorry. <laughs> but so I was like, okay. I completely forgot to check us into our flight like fuck and so it was like whatever it's four in the morning like people check in like when they get to the airport so I was like all right hopefully like we are not the last ones on this plane so I go ahead and check us in and it kept saying like 750 like a 750 or like a 720 flight and so I was like but my flight isn't at 720 like I was really confused and so I wake Ramon up mind you this is four in the morning I wake Ramon up, let's see, does it still show me? Let me see. So, I wake Ramon up, and I was like, dude, like, why does our flight say 720? And so, he's like, because, like, you, if you check in on your phone, and you, like, go through all your apps or whatever, and it says, like, okay, you've checked in for this flight, and I was like, my flight is not at 720. So, I go through, like, the four fucking emails Southwest has ever sent me, and I was like, this says 9.05 p.m. Why am I checking in for a 7.20 flight? And this is the thing. You can't just check in any random flight. You They give you your confirmation number. You type it in and your flight pops up. The names of the passengers that you are going pop up. And so I was like, what? What do you mean a 7.20 flight? I mean, I had no problem leaving at 7.20. That's what I need to express. I did not care. I didn't. It, the the two-hour difference wasn't gonna didn't really affect me because I would have had to been at the airport at seven o'clock anyways for my nine o'clock flight if that makes sense. So I didn't care about the flight leaving earlier. I'm confused on why why I do not know why do I have no idea that my flight is now at seven twenty like what the hell like why 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 so I. I go through my email and let me show you guys the emails I have received from Southwest Airlines. This bottom one, meaning the first email they've sent me, was at seven on seven eleven, so July eleventh, two thousand seventeen. I got another one at on the thirteenth, and then one on September eighth, and and then one on September eleventh. So the last email I received was the Monday before my flight, okay? So Monday the 11th, and I left on the 15th. 
why was that the last email I received? If you're going to change my flight, could you email me and let me know? Could you call me and let me know? So, I wasn't mad. I was not mad whatsoever. I was just like, well, I'm confused. Like, dude, what time is my flight at? Because my confirmation that I paid for says 9.05 p.m. Are you, are you catching on? Are you catching on? 9.05. Okay. And now when I'm checking in, it says 7.05 p.m. So I like, asked my sister and she's like, yeah, I don't know. I tell Ramon, he's like, yeah, I don't know. So I call Southwest Customer Service because I just want to know, what time am I leaving? So I call Southwest Airlines. The lady who answered, I just did not get her name, but she was very nice. Very polite lady. But she was like, yeah, your flight is at 720. Was anybody going to tell me my flight was at 720? Like, I would be more than happy if my flight was at 720 rather than 9 fucking 05 at night where I don't get home till 11. But no, because my flight is a very short flight. doesn't matter what time I get on this plane because I'll get home that day. But my issue is why didn't anybody contact me? So the lady tries to tell me, this is what kind of irritates me. She tries to tell me, Southwest has sent you multiple emails. You agreed. She said that I had agreed to saying like, yes, that's fine. Go ahead and change my flight. Because the reasoning of them needing to change the flight. Ooh, I'm getting irritated. Okay. So the reason that they need to change my flight, because the 905 flight didn't have enough passengers. And I was like, okay, that's totally fine. Like, I'm okay with me having the earlier flight. Again, what is the moral of the story? Let me know. So she tries to tell me that I have okayed an, on an email saying that's totally fine. Change my flight. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Um, Smoky, on my life, on everything I own, I these four emails were the only emails I have received from Southwest. And so I told the lady, I was like, I never received those emails, but it's fine. Thank you for letting me know I have an earlier flight. And that was that. So my flight is at 7.20. It's fine. And so, I'm sure you all have been on an airplane where your flight was not 100% booked. Which is fine. Nobody wants to sit all right next to each other. Totally fine. That 7.20 flight was completely booked not a single seat was left and you're just like so we get so so it is the day of our flight to go home so being sunday or monday the 18th we are at the phoenix airport we go to our gate and there's already a shit ton of people there and I'm just like, oh my god, please tell me they're on the flight for this gate. that Because when you get to the airport, it usually says a different destination before yours. Because usually one flight will go out before your flight if you get there within those two hours early as you're supposed to. And so I'm like, oh my god, please tell me all these people are going. I think it was an Orange County flight. And, they were, and I was like, please tell me all these people are going to Orange County. And I was like, oh my god. So literally, there were like five people on that Orange County flight, okay? So all of those people are still there so at this point i'm like i hope all these people are not going to san jose i hope all these people are not going to san jose i hope these all these people are not going to san jose oh let me tell you all of these people all of these people all of these people went to san jose so me and my boyfriend we decided to get food now we know where our gates at we have about a little bit more than an hour left to get to our gate. So we're like, let's get food so we can eat and probably have some more tea while you were on the plane. Okay, we get back to our gate. The entire, when I say entire, I mean entire UC Davis baseball team is on our flight. So not only was there a lot of people before, but now we have an entire baseball team. Coaches, parents, everybody. Like, there's probably, that added probably 30 people. So now I'm like, they must be on the flight after me. Because no way in fucking hell are all these people going to fit on this plane. Oh no, honey. Oh no. So. 
I was beyond frustrated at this point because it's time to board now. And we were in group B. So group A goes and gets seated. And literally, some people don't go on their flight. So you, you'll, like, group A will all be boarded. And, like, especially if you're group B, like, you still have, like, a good selection of where to sit. Nope. So me and Ramon, we love to sit in the back of the plane. The bathroom's right there. And it's just, like, I we're, we are in no rush to get off that plane first. Like, we don't really care. So we always sit in the very back of the plane. Thank God that's where we like to sit because that was our only choice of places to sit. And then you have to realize that flight still had a group C and a group D. So you're just like, where the fuck are all these people going to sit? So me and Ramon, we sit in the back and there was two seats. There was uh, three seats in the back row because in Southwest, all the rows are rows of three. So we think, okay, cool, we have this seat right here. And this lady comes out of the bathroom and she sits next to it. I have no problem sitting next to people. I don't think I've ever gone a row to myself. But, so I don't care that she's sitting there. No problem whatsoever. My problem was this baseball team. So again, this is a night flight. So whatever, group A, B, C, and D all get boarded. We're all on this plane. We're all uncomfortable. Whatever. So, you know, like, they got the little seatbelt sign on. So you're not supposed to stand up or do anything or move when the seatbelt seat is on, okay? You are not supposed to move. You're, okay, I think you guys can see my frustration now. These boys were, like, up and down this airplane. Because, mind you, they all couldn't sit together because they all checked in at different times. Some of them were A, some of them were B, some of them were C and D. So it's like... So they're all sitting wherever they want. Talking as loud as you could. I don't sleep on the plane. I can't sleep on the plane. I'm uncomfortable. I don't like it. But there's everybody else is trying to sleep on this plane. And they are like talking so fucking loud that you are just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You can clearly see that there's people on the same row as you asleep. There's people the row behind you and for, in front of you and 18 rows behind you asleep. So why are you standing up? talking as loud as you can and you're just like what the fuck okay because you're just like i don't understand i do not understand whatsoever so mind you again let me let me let's do a little recap me and ramon are in the back of the plane okay we're in the back and the coaches are so you can go diet you go right to the other aisle and one up so we're right here this, the walkway's right in that middle, and then here are the other seats. And then the row in front of them, the last row, where I think, like, coaches or something. Those idiots. They were on my last nerve. So we're almost about to land, but they think they said we were, like, 20 minutes from landing. And they are talking. So, like, cracking jokes, having a hysterical laugh. And I had headphones in. I had my beats in. Ramon had his headphones in. They were so loud, I could hear them and the flight attendants i was like how are you people not saying anything to them like this that's like ridiculous you're on a night flight like during the day i don't really give a shit but you should like if i'm talking to you you can hear me right you can hear me the people three rows behind you should not hear you like i don't know if this is just me and i don't know if anybody else would have gotten mad but i think that is like so ridiculous like why why don't you people have fucking common sense and you're just like oh okay like let me shut the fuck up because what what so that my friends is my southwest airlines fucking rant because recap 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 bubble okay so they changed my flight on me without me knowing they let other people who are on the flight be completely rude during a night flight i honestly i do not know if it was just me that was so irritated but like how the fuck are you gonna be like that like how do you not tell them to like oh like can you please like be quiet like there's other people sleeping like and this is my thing it's not like i'm being an asshole and i'm just like well there's people sleeping like you guys need to be quiet they were so loud 
and running like literally like almost running down at the freaking down the aisles and like laughing and they're like you need to put your seatbelts on like hey, hey. and you don't have your seatbelt on you're just standing around walking back and forth from the bathroom i don't understand i'm annoyed southwest airlines like what the hell man but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this rant video i mean i needed to get it out because it was really bothering me it was really fucking annoying and i hope i never have a flight like that ever again i hope next time i fly to phoenix i never have to fucking deal with another baseball team um i hope i never have to deal with annoying ass coaches i hope i never get to sit next to the most weird lady in my life oh mind you she was fucking weird but not like weird enough to mention she was just like kept staring at my phone while i was i don't know she was just making weird but whatever so i hope you guys enjoyed my rant thank you for listening to me because i have been so fed up thank you for watching this video throughout my entire lisp because it's great my mouth is doing fine if anybody wanted to know i'm about friday saturday sunday Monday. i'm four days past my surgery and i'm good my mouth just kind of hurts right now like on this side it really hurts from me talking but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked the video go ahead and comment and subscribe and let me know if you guys have any video recommendations for me to do because i'm running out of ideas here but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye